some of the big takeaways for me from the podcast and also from your record, it's like not asking for permission, which I relate to, um, and going for it. You, you know that uh, holy, holy motors where it's you commit, you just straight up commit, right? Do yeah. you remember that movie? I've never seen it. Holy motives. Oh, well, I haven't seen it. Then watch it. Because okay. okay. It's, I'll write it down. Holy motives. If you just think of it conceptually, where yes. they take on a role and they commit to it. So when you're in this role, you do not break and you could fucking die in it. But then you yeah, come yeah. back. I mean, you will very fucking get into it. it you will yeah. fucking get into it. That's so, great. Well, that's kind of like the Andy Kaufman, you know, like that's the thing that's just like, let's find out what happens if we go a hundred percent. And, <laughs> and that's why like some of the things I've done, like, you know, having gurus and all this stuff and I became a hospice volunteer and I just get psychedelics, all this stuff where you just go, go 100%. And then it's like, I always remember that like Jim Carroll, I think in the basketball diaries, wrote something about, I want to become famous enough so that I can cross it off my list of things that I desire. And right. I'm a little bit like that with my goals. Like if I'm interested in something, I want to go whole hog so that right. I know what it was and what its value is. And then it becomes like, if you meet the Buddha in the road, kill him. Because you then can get the experience and you can throw it away and anything that's real will remain with you. So when you talk about <laughs> making strawberry salmon for Billy. I fucking <laughs> laughed my ass off. I cannot imagine his. Um... <laughs> well, I, I I don't know him very well at all. We we were neighbors and we've chatted over the years, met at this. But for me, it was just this the, one of those moments. It was that thing again of full commitment that <laughs> when, when you go how much more complicated can I make it for myself than picking this like obscure esoteric recipe that's really not very good to eat for someone that just is a naturally intimidating <laughs> presence. But, um, but yeah. yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, I've, I mean, I've literally, I have probably had half a dozen conversations with him over the years, but um, interesting. I mean, you know, you know him much better. He's a very interest, interesting person figure i don't know i always think he's i'm always interested in what he has to say i just wanted to say god there's so much i mean i would love to do another uh, just about your podcast and uh with ioni because it's the way your daughter's on there and the way you allow her just to be without um anxiety or possible like fear of what um saying the wrong thing it's just so supportive and beautiful uh thank you yeah it's really uh, it's an interesting space when navigating because i this whole world of how much you expose your children and create a digital footprint of them that they have to maybe live out in the rest of their days it's something that there's no rules to um right. she's becoming a teenager now and i think she in certain safe environments like that, that also aren't, the thing I like about allowing her space on the podcast, if she wants to be on it, is it's not at all about uh, physical judgment, which I right. think for teenagers and for girls, it's like a lot to be subjected to on the internet. But I love that it's a place for her to explore ideas. And, yeah. and I, I feel safer about that in a way than if she wanted to like, do dances on TikTok or something, you know what I mean? It, it's just a sleepover episode with <laughs> I love how we were brought into it. We were accomplices, you know. We yeah, were exactly. <laughs> that was all her. I didn't know what that, it was not until I listened the next day, I was like, oh, we've got to leave that in. It's so good. It's so good. And even like when, you give the, you talk about parenting, which is great. Like we're leaving and yeah. that whole, it, it, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, there's nothing that your podcast doesn't uh, touch on. And it, it's, it's so vulnerable too, because you guys are really willing to be vulnerable and it echoes so much of the deep self exploration that your songs are these tight little stories and you are really, deceptively your poems and you're with a 
a little phrase all of a sudden you nick it and you go in and you bleed a little um i'm gonna end with one thing that's because i know you did bees for beer with tom robbins yeah 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 and a good friend of mine just did an interview so um my friend uh gary lipman who tom robbins and he said so tom said it can be both a disappointment and a celebration to sense that a truly engaging novel is about to end. Mm. And, and that's how I really feel about your, your record. It, it just feels like there's a story and I, I want the movie, I want the book. Uh. And the podcast kind of invites us in well, what, what, one, one thing that I think is great about the types of conversations we can have as creators nowadays is that they don't end. Like we're, we're moving out of the era of album cycles and things like that. And we are in an act of, it's funny, like a lot of artists go like, oh, the pressure of being, I like, oh my God, all I ever wanted was a continual creative conversation with an audience. It doesn't matter how big they are. It doesn't need to be the biggest audience in the world, but some people that want to be engaged and let it flow. It's like, it's like being at a great all night party and everyone's talking and you, and, and I just think it's, it doesn't need to end anymore. And that is something I actually really am grateful for. <laughs> Getting older and having boundaries and knowing that you can control it is very liberating. And then, yeah. and then it allows for that. Well, thank you so much. Oh, Dennis. thank you. It's so good to finally talk. And I'm sure we'll again. And awesome. Congratulations. Mazel tov. <laughs> thank you. What made your parents get high?